Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in our last session, so we had discussed about a short variable and some of the examples of a short data type. So, now today the discussion about a character data type in C language. Here, character data type. So, just like a short data type, character data type also divided into two types. One is a signed data type and second one is a unsigned data type. First one is signed data type, second one is unsigned data type. Here it is either it is a signed data type or unsigned data type. A character occupies only one byte. Character occupies only one byte memory. Either it is a signed byte or it is a unsigned byte. Unsigned means what? It will accept only positive values and signed means what? It will accept both positive values as well as a negative values. Right? But here it is whatever the type, character occupies only one byte. So, based on the one byte, what is the minimum value we can store and what is the maximum value we can store? Here, one byte means we should find out the value of a 2 power 8. What is a 2 power 8 value? Is a 256 value. 2 power 8 value is a 256, but here it is a positive value starts with a 0. So, 0 to 255. So, this is a range of signed data type. 0 to 255 is the range of uh, sorry unsigned data type and here it is a signed data type. Here it is 2 power 8 by 2 is nothing but a 256 by 2. 256 by 2 the value is what? minus 128 to plus 127. If you make it half exactly, right, a signed data type and unsigned data type, here it is signed data type range is a minus 128 to plus 127. Reason 256 by 2 exact half is a 128. So, negative values starts with a minus 1. So, minus 1 to minus 128 and so on minus 128 is okay, but positive values starts with a 0. So, up to 127 only because 0 plus 127 total 128. So, these are the limits of character data type. Signed character data type is minus 128 to plus 127. Unsigned data type is 0 to 255, only positive values it will take. Sir, everything is okay, but here it is using character data type, we are storing symbols, capital A, capital B, small a, write some other special symbols we are storing. Sir, then how can we represent in integer, sir? Why? Character data type limits representation in integers, that is the question. So many questions, right, they will ask on a character data type. So, what all the questions see? First question, why character limits representation in integers? This is the first question they will ask. Second question, how can we store, how can we store a symbol, a symbol into one byte memory? Nothing but why character occupies one byte memory is the question. Next one, what is character system? What is character system? Next question, what is ASCII? What is ASCII? These are the four questions they will ask on character data type. First one, why character data type limits we are representing in integers? Second one, how can we store a symbol into one byte memory? And the third one is what is character system? Last one is what is ASCII character system? These are the four main questions they will ask on a character data type, right? So, we will see, right? All these things see. For example, so whenever we are writing program, suppose a simple program I am writing, simple program hash include 
hash include its own so stdio dot h main inside the main i am declaring one local variable a with the value 10 and remaining instructions as usual this is a simple program i have written so what is this source code so we can call it as a source code in the first session we already discussed so whatever the program you have written using any programming language so that system cannot understand. So, because system understands only binary language, but you have written English statements, right. So, this is a system cannot understand any name you can give. Suppose, I am giving program extension is a dot c, extension dot c. So, we should convert all these high level instructions into low level. Who will convert? Compiler is a predefined program this is we need to pass as an input to the compiler then compiler will generate that code binary instructions code it will generate binary instructions code suppose here here so compiler need to convert all these high level instructions into machine level 10 it has to convert just consider 10 it will convert into binary suppose 1010 it can convert reason we have a pre-proposed number system in mathematics right number system concept we know how to convert right a decimal value to binary value binary value to octal octal to hexadecimal right hexadecimal to binary for all these conversions equations already present so many formulas they provided so using number system concept right we can convert a decimal value into binary value but here the problem is sir how it converts hash into binary sir how it converts a special symbol into binary how it converts e into binary all these questions right here it is a decimal values okay numbers okay right number system is there using number system we can convert easily but here the question is sir how characters will be converted so that's why along with the programming languages they introduce the concept of character system they introduce the co concept of character system only for programming languages only for computer programming languages they introduce the concept of a character system sir what is character system using character system you can represent one entire language any language suppose english language capital letters small letters digits special symbols the entire language all the characters you can represent using constant integer values that is called character system sir how many character systems are available a list will come if you search in the google right a list will come so number of character systems are available so, first computer introduced into the market by ibm ibm is having its own character system right but here it is now the famous one is a ascii character system the famous one is what ascii character system every programming language follows ascii character system only n number of character systems are available in the market but the famous one is a ascii character system how how using ascii character system we can represent one particular language we'll see ASCII character system. See suppose here for English language right here it is we are discussing about ASCII. Sir what is ASCII? What it stands for? Americans standard code for information interchange for information interchange. This is this is ASCII stands for Americans introduced a standard code. Standard code means it is a fixed code. No one can change the value. No one can modify the value. It is a fixed code. Sir, why? What is the use? It is used to interchange the information. Used to interchange the information from high level language to low level language we are converting. That is we are interchanging to that interchange we are depending on ASCII how it represents how it represents means see for example 
capital A is represented by a constant integer value 65. This is the fixed value. No one can change this value. Next one for capital B, it is 66. Capital C, it is 67 and so on. Capital Z, it is 90. It is 90. For example, small a is a 97, small b is 98 and so on. For small z, it is 122. And next one for digits also, 0 is a 48, 1, 49 and so on, 9, 57. Using the digits 0 to 1, you can construct any number, you can represent any number. So, only 0 to 9 ASCII values they have given. And for other symbols also, for example, if it is a hash, the value is a 35. Suppose if it is a space, the value is 32 and so on. For every symbol, for every character, digit, special symbol, so whatever the symbol it is, that is represented by a constant integer value in a character system, not only in ASCII character system, in any character system which is available in the market. Right? So, this is the representation of character system, the representation of one language. So, what are the languages? Not programming languages, right? General languages like Telugu, English, Hindi, Tamil. For every language, there is a corresponding character system, right? Here it is, we are representing English language using ASCII character system, and these are the standard values. Sir, programmatically, can we show? Yes. Right, it is possible. I will show you. So, whenever we start programming and all these things, okay. And here it is a one more last question, sir. How can we store a symbol into one byte memory? How can we store a symbol into one byte memory? See, just count all these values. Count so total 26 capital alphabets we have in uh, English, and here it is 26 uh, small letters. And next one 10 numbers and next one for example, the special symbols 150, definitely not more than 150. So, here it is if you add all these things that is less than 256 only, less than 256. Any language you can take in this world, any language no matters. Right, every language is at most having 256 symbols only. More than 256 symbols, there is no such language in this world, very sure. Okay, so Americans decided that if we assign the values for these symbols from 0 to 255, so you can represent any character in the language using a one byte memory. Sir, how can we say that one byte memory? See, 256 is nothing but a 2 power 8 value, 2 power 8 is nothing but a 1 byte memory. This is the only reason every character we can represent using 1 byte memory in a programming languages. This is the only reason. Okay? So, once again, why character data type representation in integers? Because we are representing a character using character system character system means representing all the symbols of one programming language representing right all the characters of one programming language using constant integer values using constant integer values that is important so that's why right character data type representation also using integers only using integers only we are representing and next one, why a character occupies only one byte means, right, the num total number of symbols in any programming language definitely not more than 256. The best example, right, a laptop keyboard or desktop keyboard. A standard keyboard is having how many keys? 104 keys or 106 keys. By using shift button, sir, we can press one more 104. Yes, of course. 104 plus 104, totally 208. That means, not even a 256 enough, right? Just using a 208 numbers, you can represent one complete language, all the characters of one language. So, that is why Americans have provided constant integer values between 0 to 255 numbers only, right? So, this is all about a character systems and this is all about a why 
character data type occupies only one byte memory and why character data type representation in integers. Okay? Some of the programs on character data type we will see in the next session. For more videos, please subscribe to Naresh IT channel. Thank you all.